Hello and welcome to the SEO module of this training. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be running through uh, some live examples to show you exactly what it takes to rank number one on Google and how to get more leads and how to absolutely kill it there. Um, but we're gonna start with a bit of a case study and I'm gonna show you guys a few cool things. So. What we're going to start off with first is, as you can see here, we're going to be using the keyword Plumber Sydney. Now, this is obviously going to be a very competitive keyword. We've got a service and we've got a location modifier. So, for example, this is probably one of the most competitive location modifiers in all of Australia because it's really one of the biggest cities in Australia. But essentially, this is... Uh, what's called a short tail keyword. Um, but essentially what it means is that this is something that people are going to type into Google a lot. And it's important that our content on our website matches that keyword. So when people type it into there, then they're going to uh, find your business and exactly what you do. Now, um, what's really important here is that uh, I guess what you want to do is create a page specific to a keyword. You're going to want to make really great content on there and you're going to want Google to rank your content as being popular. So that's by creating authority through uh, backlinks, through people going onto the website, through people staying on the website for a long time. And once it starts to rise up the ranks of Google, this is probably going to go a little bit quicker if you've done everything right. So let's look at a little bit of a case study. And then at the end, we're going to look at some strategy that you can implement through your own website and your own business to take this to the next level. Cool. All right, so jumping right into it here, we've got, uh, I've typed into Google Plumber Sydney, which is the keyword that we're looking at and obviously quite a competitive one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up um, option number one, option number two. Now, just note that I've turned off ads and uh, what that means is that I'm only getting the SEO ones uh, and option number three. So this is uh, people ranking number one, two, and three for a very competitive trade orientated keyword. So let's see how they got there. All right. First off, nice website. Very nice. And then we've got a nice long page. They're saying the word plumber on here a lot. You can also see the keyword um, of Sydney coming up a few times through here. Got nice photos. All right. And a nice long website. So people will be staying on here for a long, long time. Cool. Number two, plumbing in Sydney. You can see the keyword straight off the bat there. You've got a lead form. Great. Sydney plumber. It's in the writing though, which is interesting. Um, they've also got it highlighted here. Um, all right, cool. So first off, we're gonna be assessing the content across all three of these. All righty. So first off, um, on our document here, link number one, which is proximity plumbing. Uh, first off, we can see within the title there, and they've got uh, Plumbing Sydney right in there. So let's take the link. Let's put it here. Cool. Nice. All right. Keyword. Um, let's see how many times it comes up. So control F. Plumber Sydney. So together, it only comes up twice. Plumber Sydney comes up twice. All right, next keyword. So then we try it by itself. So plumber comes up 64 times. 64. Oop. What have I done? Cool. 64 times. Cool. Control F again. Sydney comes up 29 times. Sydney. 
29 times. Cool. Now we're going to copy this and bring it down to the next one and for the last one and we're going to compare how they go on there. So number two, control, control F, plumber, Sydney, comes up eight times. So the combined one on number two comes out eight times. Um, now we just want to get plumber 85 times. Cool. And then Sydney, we're going to go through here. Sydney comes up 82 times. A lot of content here. A lot of content, which is why they are ranking highly here. Control F. Sydney comes up 110 times. Cool. Next one. Lama Sydney, eight times. All right, and lastly, we want to do plumber by itself, 110 times. Cool. I assume this guy is the underdog. Let's pop the links in there too, um, so I can show you some other cool things in here. Alrighty, next we're going to look at the number of words in total. So how much content is on the page in total? Now one thing you'll notice here is I can't highlight the content on here. So I'm not going to be able to get a reading here for this, which is a bit of a pain. We're going to look at the other two here. Oh, of course. They've done the same thing, so we can't look at the amount of content on here. And this is the only one that does allow us to look at the amount of content on here. All right. Now, just by scrolling through here, you can see that this is a lot of content. Lots of content. Tons of content. So much content. And that makes sense because this is a very competitive keyword, 4,720 words. Wow, that is a lot of content. But it makes sense when you want to rank for a keyword that is going to get you a significant amount of business. Um, now, just saying, to, to rank on the first page of this particular keyword would take years. It, it's, not, it's not a quick process, but there is a way that you can speed it up, which I'll walk through on my strategy to get started. Now, the next thing we want to look at is the authority of these websites. Now, we're just going to be looking at one way of doing that, which is through what's called backlinks. Now, essentially what this means is other websites linking your website um, to their website. So they're, they're putting it in a link in there. So when they click on it, it goes to your website. That's what's called a backlink. Now, what's really important here is what the authority of the linking website is. That's going to have an impact. How spammy that website is. So if you have backlinks that are very spammy, and don't create any authority, that's going to hurt your SEO rankings. Um, but if you, you know, ideally you want to have a non-spammy website that uh, has a very high authority linking to your website. But what we're going to do is just look at the number of backlinks using a nice authority tool. Uh, this is by uh, Ahrefs, um, and essentially you're just going to put the link in there and check backlinks. It's going to give us a rating. So it's 27 and they have 1.4 thousand backlinks. All right, so BA27 and 1.4K. Now, by looking at these, 
you can see that they are quite uh, good backlinks. They have a high domain rating. Um, and at least a good portion of these look like good quality links, preferably the top ones. So we've got an actual uh, plumbing website, fix a tap linking. We've got OneFlare, which is a lead referral website. We've got Pinterest, which is a social media. Um, we've got Arrow Tick, which I'm not sure what that's about, but what this is is an actual plumbing related article, so that actually helps. Um, and what you also notice is what anchor text they're using. So this one is just website, which doesn't do a lot, right? This one is the actual link that it's linking out to. Uh, this one is their, uh, their link followed by opens a new tab that's all linked. But this one is an actual SEO one where plumber near me. So you want people to type in plumber near me and you come up and this is a way that you can start making that happen. So the actual link that's highlighted by uh, text is plumber near me, but it links you to the website that they want you to find when you type in plumber near me. So that's interesting. That's called anchor text. Cool. Let's look at the second one and go back here and we're going to put that link in check backlinks let's have a look all right domain rating 35 cool um doo -doo -doo. so da35 and they've got 12 backlinks interesting um 12 backlinks Alrighty, oh, that might just be for that particular page. Yes, all right. So one thing you'll notice about this link is that this is a keyword specific landing page. Now this is part of a strategy that I think is really, really helpful. Um, but essentially what this is, is this is their standard domain here, which is just fixedtoday.com.au, but this is their Sydney domain. Um, which is a specific landing page just, just to get people to click on their Sydney link and rank for that keyword. So let's change this to their actual link so we can see what their actual domain rating is. So it's 35 and 3.7 thousand backlinks. So DA remains the same because it's the same domain. But overall, they've got 3.7 thousand of these and 12 of them are on that particular page. So that's important too. You've got the page backlinks, but you've also got the website backlinks. Interesting. So next one, we're going to go to Hero Plumbing and we're going to do this one. Now, this is just the home page that is ranking again. Um, and this one is also 35. Um, and 964 backlinks. All right, 35, 964 backlinks. All right. Cool. All right, so what have we learned here? There's a lot of elements that go into making SEO work. All right, the first one is going to be... Um, your uh, text that is the title of the page that obviously helps this one says plumber sydney call now fix today plumbing so that's a good call to action and they obviously want you to call um, so that's good and it also has the keyword in there plumber sydney that's helpful the next one is the content that's on the page as you can see sydney comes up a lot and i really wish i could highlight this to show you how much content is on there but as you can see by this one, 4,720 words on there that get people to keep on reading, stay on the page, and it's high quality content that integrates the keywords onto there. That's certainly going to help. Um, and then you've got the number of backlinks. Now there's a few other things that really go into helping here, which is anchor text. That helps absolutely. That's the thing that I was talking about there where it has 
uh, the words that you want to rank for actually ranks to the page that you want to rank for that particular keyword. The next thing is traffic. Google's looking at, hey, how much traffic is going onto this website and are they bouncing from there? So are they going onto the website and leaving immediately or are they staying on there and consuming the content which uh, I guess points Google to say this must be some kind of quality content. And what are they doing on there? Are they clicking on things? Are they submitting forms? Are they, they're, they're really gonna look at this user engagement and see if your website has good user engagement or poor user engagement because that usually indicates a quality of website, which if your website is poor quality, Google is gonna basically say you suck and put you on page 400 rather than page number one. Uh, they're gonna look at clicks, they're gonna look at accessibility. So is your website mobile friendly? Um, this is really important, um, especially that you know the good majority of people going onto your website are gonna be accessing it uh, on a mobile device. So you need to make sure your mobile website actually uh, looks really good. It's really easy to use. And um, yeah, if you don't optimize your mobile website, you're basically not going to rank on SEO these days. The next thing is, is making sure that you have an SSL certificate. So basically, if you have this lockup here, you've got an SSL certificate, and that's for security purposes. If you went through the website tutorial um, at the start of this, uh, and you use DreamHost, then it, you can get a free SSL certificate for the life of your plan with them. So don't worry about that. Um, if you don't have the lock there, contact their support, they'll install it instantly for you. A privacy policy, it's good to have one on there, it helps. Load speed. Now just think, if someone goes onto your website and it's gonna take 30 seconds for the content to come up, they're gonna leave immediately and Google is, is gonna say your website sucks and you'll be back to page 400. Um, make sure that your website load speed is good, and how you do that is by having images on there that are compressed. A really good tool for that is called compressor.io, and essentially you just upload the files onto here and it compresses them so things load a lot quicker. Um, videos on there, don't have them load the video right away, just have like a placeholder image, that certainly helps. Um, click through rate, title and meta description. So I'm gonna go through that when we walk through the strategy and then we're also going to uh, look at uh, linking titles. Um, so what, what this uh, basically refers to is um, up here as we saw on this one, this one is a, um, a landing page specific to target this keyword and this title by having Sydney in there. It doesn't have plumbing or plumber in there, which is you know not great. I would have this as Sydney plumber or something like that so that it targets that specific keyword because literally there's nothing on here that's not plumbing. So you may as well optimize for the keyword unless they're trying to look at hitting multiple keywords, but regardless, I'd be having plumber or plumbing or something in there so that it makes it more specific to that keyword. All right, so let's um, let's go into the strategy. Let's, let's dive right in. So this is our page here. Um, now let's go ahead and just create a new page that's specific to this uh, keyword. Now the first thing that we wanna think is one, we need to put our service in there. We need to think, you know, what people, what are people typing into Google to come up with, um, you know, the, the goods. Now, realistically, when you're first starting this, your domain rating is going to be zero or one. It's gonna be extremely low. You're probably not gonna have any backlinks. So that's something you need to consider. Um, and you're also going to need really high quality content on there and something that's competitive, all right? So if I were going to go for the keyword Plumber Sydney and I was starting off uh, from fresh, um, I'd probably reconsider my strategy. That's not going to get you any traffic. If you create a landing page for Plumber Sydney straight off the bat, uh, you're gonna be on page 400. 
What you should be thinking is, all right, my business is based in, let's say Wollongong, for example. So this is already one step less competitive. It's a lower um, competitive uh, location for any service, really. Sydney's a massive place. There's lots of people who want that. Wollongong, let's say your business is based in Wollongong. So you could have uh, plumbing Wollongong. That could be a key word. Uh, you could have plumber Wollongong, which that would be a, a key word again. But realistically, what you're going to want to do is Wollongong is a big place with many suburbs in there. So you would probably look at going, um, let's uh, put a few options here. Let's just go down to the next page here. You're going to actually realistically be looking at uh, having smaller tail keywords here or uh, less competitive locations. So you'd be looking at Plumber Coromel or you would be looking at Plumber Taraji or Plumber Unandera. So these are smaller suburbs and although Plumber Sydney, you probably have a few thousand people a month who type that into Google um, let's say Wollongong, you probably have about a thousand people a month typing that in. Here you're probably going to have 30, 40, maybe 70. And what's important here is that going for this is going to be significantly easier than this. And if you put in a strategy to target all of these, you're probably likely to get to page one eventually um, within a matter of months if you do things right. But if you go for this one, it's probably going to take a year. And if you go for Sydney, it's probably going to take a couple years to build up your domain quickly. Um, yeah, so what I'd be doing is I'd be targeting the less um, competitive ones and I would be going just as competitive as if I were going for plumbing Sydney so let's create a landing page for let's say plumber Coromel now you can put this into action for any service you just need to create the content that aligns with that and the keyword so plumber put, put your service in there and your location modifier put a little suburb around you that's just going to get a couple views per month rather than thousands and thousands so it's significantly less competitive and go from there so here's what you want to do you're going to go to your website and you're going to basically go add new cool now when this creates a new page you have the option to put in your title here now we're just going to call this Plumber Coromel. So we know exactly what it is. We're going to click publish. Cool. We're also going to open this up in Elementor. So it creates a page. And then we're going to go back to editing the site. Exit. All right. Template. We're going to want to change this to Elementor full width. We're going to update that. Cool. Now the first thing is, is the back end structural stuff. All right. So this is how it's going to show up on Google currently. Now Plumber Coromel, one, it's not going to allow people to really I guess, find the right one. Um, so what we want to do here is, yes, we want to um, put plumbing in there, but we also want people to want to click on it. So let's go number one plumber in Coromel and uh, let's call it whatever your website should be called. Uh, plumbing professionals. I don't know, whatever your plumbing website is called. So now when this comes up in Google, um, people are actually going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, the plumbing professionals, they're the number one plumber in Coromel. So I'll probably click on that one because I want the number one person. Rather than just writing plumbing Coromel, 
where no one's going to click on that, we can put the keywords in there and we can attract people to go, hey, I want that one. So even if you're on the first page and we obviously want to be up the top spot, number one, let's say you're number four though, but the first one just say plumbing caramel, plumbing caramel, plumbing caramel. And yours says number one plumber in caramel, they're going to go, hmm, I might click on that one rather than the first three, which are just very, very vanilla. Cool. The slug. Now this is what is essentially up in the link up the top there. Plumber Coromel, that's the keyword that people will be typing in. I like to put in this format and it really has um, shown the best results where you just have the keywords separated by a little hyphen in there. So Plumber Coromel, that's fine, cool. Meta description, this is extremely important. This needs to tell the customer about your plumbing services. You want to integrate the keyword into there and you also want people to go, oh, I know, you know, I think they're really good at this as well. Similar to number one plumbing in Coromel. So I'd be like for all your plumbing needs in Coromel, please contact our professional team. No plumbing job too big or too small. Get a free plumbing quote now. All right, now, super helpful here. Um, this tells you if it's too long or too short. Now, as you can see here, we get a little bit of a preview. Realistically, we uh, want this to be a bit shorter so people can read it quickly for your plumbing needs. In Coromel, please contact our professional team. Can we probably take out please? And we're all ready um, to be um, a bit more optimized, which is good. All right, so that's good. Let's go update. So we've got the title. And we've got a captivating, what's called a meta description, the thing that people read on there. Um, so that's good, that's good. All right, now let's go on to the page. Now realistically, we want to create a new page for each keyword that we wanna rank for. The difficulty here is that you want them to all have some sort of authority. So you don't wanna have too many pages because then you need to you know, probably link to each of them and, you know, otherwise if you have no authority for any pages, then none of them are going to rank. But that is a future problem. What we're gonna focus on today is the basics, but if you want more information there, reach out to my team. So now we've done that, we've clicked update. We'll just double check and we'll go edit with Elementor. How do we create a great page with uh, SEO on there? So. The first thing is we want to do competitive research for the actual keyword we want to rank for. So don't worry about this one. This is just you know a uh, like a one that refers you to other people. Oh, some people have the right idea here. So let's just look at these two. First thing is we want to have enough content on there that we do Coromel at least. I'd probably go ten times. It's not a hard effort. Coromel, this one, yeah, I'd go with 10 times. So uh, when we're actually planning our content, um, Coromel 10 times, and let's go uh, plumbing on here. Uh, so that comes up 31 times, and same here. So when you're actually planning the content that you're gonna wanna put on there, I'd probably go for 50. Um, so plumbing 50 times you want it to appear on the page so that you can be comfortable with that. Cool. Realistically, you just want to have significantly so much more content and engaging content. Don't just put crap on there. Otherwise, you, it's just going to... And you also don't want to just stuff it so tightly. You're going to have to put, you know, some good stuff on there. Now, realistically, this is going to be very similar to how we designed the other page. I'm not gonna go through the full design here, but I'm gonna show you guys a few important things um, and just things you need to take into consideration. So, 
Um, the first one is with your headings. Your headings are extremely important. So this is the structure of your website. So when people talk about SEO structure, um, realistically on a page, you will only want to have a H1 once, and this needs to include uh, the keywords. So I would have something in there, a best plumbing in Coromel, all right? So you would have one H1 in there, cool? Now the next thing is you're going to have a couple H2s. Now these also need to be relevant to um, the service. Um, so our plumbing, well realistically, you could go our Coromel plumbing services. Cool. And then you would have Let's go down here, another H2, let's say, and this can be um, about us, all right? About, you know, you could have about our Coromel team. You know, you could integrate into there, about our Coromel plumbing team. Now, at the end of the day, you need to make sure that this stuff actually makes sense. If you're just stuffing stuff in there and it doesn't make sense, you probably have to pull it back a layer here. All right, and then for each of these, you're probably gonna have some kind of content in here. So, let's go to our good friend, ChatGPT. <laughs> um, write me a SEO optimized about us section for our plumbing services based in Coromel, a ranking for the keyword uh, Coromel plumbing, or oh, whatever the keyword was. Cool. So this is going to go ahead and create some content for us. Now, realistically, you're going to want to edit this content so it makes more sense. Um, you're also going to want to section out this content so it's not just one big slab of text. Now, realistically, um, you're not going to be called Coromel Plumbing. You're gonna put in your name in there rather than Coromel Plumbing. Um, but if we look at this content, we've already got Coromel based in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now a lot of those you're going to replace that with your actual business name. For, for instance, it's gonna be professional plumbing. Um, that every Coromel client, so you can add it into there, that would be fine. It would still make sense in how you're saying it and reading it. Um, committed to achieving that through professionalism, expertise and dedication. Um, in Coromel, so that's a good way to put it. So you would put no more keywords in there. The areas that you'd look to put it in there, why we offer 24 seven emergency service to ensure that our Coromel clients, um, so that's another way that you can pack it into there without absolutely stuffing the brains out of it with Coromel and plumbing. Now, if we look here, plumbing, you can see that this has been layered throughout there quite well, maybe yeah, realistically, I wouldn't put more into there. Um, simple plumbing repairs, you could probably put it in there. It would make sense. It would probably make more sense to ensure it's in there for the services that you offer. But that's a good way to get content for free. Basically, just sign up, say, write me an SEO optimized about our section for our plumbing services. Take what you like, leave what you don't. Make sure it makes sense. Um, that a human has written it, and that's a good way to start writing out your content. Cool. Um, so that's, um, I guess, in terms of the page building, the basics there. Now, you don't want to absolutely stuff the brains out of it, um, and I won't be going too much into the whole backlink side of things. Regardless, once you get some extremely good content onto there, and you lay the structure out, optimize like this, just remember one H1, couple H2s, and some text content in there. Make sure you have images in there. People like looking at images. Um, then that's going to go a long way in getting started. Now, 
realistically the strategy here I would do something along the lines of uh, this website here where you know you've got um, a, 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 a good page here I built it myself I'm a bit biased um, but um, what you've got down here is you've got different locations that make sense um, now let me show you an example car window tinting Narang that's the keyword that we've wanted to target here and essentially it's the same page but rather than saying Gold Coast we put Narang there cool in the title up here car window tinting Narang um, and if you go through here Narang tinting is you know scattered throughout there we've got anchor text on there Narang car window tinting quote so this is what's called an internal link that links out to other parts of the website um, but it's something that you want to uh, I guess consider putting into your website now let's have a look at this as an example car window tinting Narang now if we scroll down just a little bit you can see that this is ranking number one for that keyword um, and this, although it only gets searched 30 to 40 times a month, this landing page alone brings in 10 to 15 leads a month because we're number one ranked on there. We're the only website on here that says we're the number one tinters in the Gold Coast. Not me, but the, the client. Um, and it, 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 it brings people in. There's a clear call to action. Get a quote. Uh, request in 60 seconds and if you've gone through the website stuff I've gone earlier in the, the lead forms then you're going to be able to get customers on demand but what I'm saying is your strategy shouldn't be hey go for the biggest and boldest and baddest keywords out there I want you guys to actually get some results so you're going to do that by targeting lots of little ones with exactly what I've shown you uh, within here and if you do need further help, feel free to reach out to myself or my team. We've got some pretty banger templates that we can send out to you to help get you started. Um, but I hope that helps get your SEO started. Start making some money with your SEO. And if you want to take it to the next level, reach out. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next module.